Hey, would you do me a favor? Close your eyes for just, a second. I never, never do no, this. No, 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 please. To do this. No, trust me, please. Okay, just fine. Trust me, okay? Right. Let's not be weird about this. Mm -hmm. Although it's going to start weird. It's take getting a, weird. Take a deep breath. Okay. And think about this. When was the last time you've treated yourself to a facial? A <laughs> relaxing, enjoyable facial? Chances are you might not even remember. No. But now that you're relaxed, kind of, mm -hmm. it's time to step up your self-care game. You can create your own self-care spa day at home with food you probably already have on hand. Beauty expert mm. Hillary Klein is sharing her tips on creating DIY facials with just a few simple ingredients. Okay. Desperate times, desperate measures, This is right? true. I think at home, we've been doing a lot of like at-home spa things. I use a mask a couple times a week these days. Uh, I gotta wear a mask. Yeah, you should do it. First up, Hillary is gonna explain ways that at home you can fight off the dry skin. So she uses the ingredients that you see here, orange juice, Oche. yogurt, and grapefruit. Find out how these can do wonders for your skin. Look at this. Face mask I'm gonna teach you how to make today is made for those of you who have dry skin. I'm a dry skin girl. It doesn't matter what season it is. So this mask is one of my favorites. Here's what you'll need. You're gonna need some plain Greek yogurt. You're also going to need some aloe vera gel. And you're gonna need some orange juice. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to get a little fancy around here. Pour a little bit in my wine glass here. Does it taste good? Tastes good. All right, pour that into a bowl. And then you'll mix that up. Stir, stir, stir. It's looking good, looking good. And then you'll put it on your face for about 20 minutes and then wash it off with cold water. All right, friends, it's grapefruit time. We are gonna make a grapefruit toner. Here's what you'll need, grapefruit and rosemary. Now, the importance of this grapefruit toner is that it's very light, it's very refreshing, and it helps brighten the skin. Here's how you'll make it. So you'll take your grapefruit and you'll cut it in half, like so, and then you'll take a dash of rosemary, and if you don't have rosemary, no worries. You can use lavender, you can use sage. I just, I love the smell of rosemary. It wakens the senses. Put that all in a bowl, stir it up, and then you're gonna transfer that into a bottle or a jar like so. Shake it up, shake all the worries away, put it in the fridge for a couple hours, and then what you'll do is you'll take a cotton pad, like so, put the product on, apply it all over the face. Now, word to the wise, because I found this out the hard way, avoid the eye area because let me tell you, it will burn. It will burn. Good lesson. Words to outlive by. Chances are you've got some honey and brown sugar on hand, right? So these two DIY masks will help you moisturize and exfoliate your skin. Here's how. Next up, one of my favorite masks. I call it Honey, You've Got This. <sighs> uses honey, of course. Also uses ground cinnamon. Also uses lemon. So put that all into your dish. Mix that up like so. Once that's all mixed up, wash your face with lukewarm water. Apply this, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes, and then wash it off with cold water. Now what I love most about this honey mask is the fact that it soothes the skin and it gives you a nice glow. Who doesn't want to glow right now? I know I want to. And finally, let's exfoliate the boredom away, right? Am I right? I'm going stir crazy. Bear with me. So here's what you're gonna need to use to make this mask. You're gonna need some olive oil or you can use some coconut oil. And you're gonna need a fourth cup of brown sugar. Dump that in, stir it up. Now, this is meant for exfoliating and for moisturizing. I like to put this on my lips if I'm having some chapped lips. We've all been there, right? Put it on the lips for about five minutes, but you can also put it on your face for about 20 and rinse that off and pat it dry. 
Hillary is going a little bit stir crazy, but it's delightful to watch because we all are. <laughs> we, uh, are. we posted those really good DIY face mask recipes up on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. You can also connect with Hillary on her Instagram at Klein to the top. Today we're